Today's video request will be on this. person makes things more difficult and why that is you see when you're too nice people end up shitting all over you they be like ah oh, this person's nice this person don't have no balls i guess or he doesn't get it you know he doesn't i don't know how i could put it but like he just doesn't have any like rage in him so we can like shit all over him he's like a sap in other words like he'll do whatever we tell him to do because he's such a nice person he'll go out of his way so people that are like that people take advantage of you know now me personally i am a nice person but i don't want to get to that point where i'm like a sap or a simp or well, same shit i guess you know but you know it's just people literally look for predators you know like they they literally uh take advantage of each other they take advantage of that certain person they see he's simple-minded or you know he's just too nice of a guy or a woman whatever and then they shit all over him or her like me personally i like to try to be a nice person you know i don't wish anyone bad in any way even enemies that i may have i don't wish bad on them or anything you know i just you know i, I just wish everyone well in life you know i mean it's just it's sad because you know the majority of us suffer from something whatever it might be an illness or something and you know it really breaks my heart to see that you know you know then there's other people out there that just wish bad on other people and i say to myself you gotta really be careful what you wish for because what if it comes back at you you wouldn't like if you feel a certain type of way so why wish it on a different person i'm you know another person or whatever or if someone's going through hell why wish that their hell keeps getting worse you know it's like it's like, I just don't know, man, why we're such enemies to each other, you know? It's like, it's it's just, it amazes me every day how we literally treat each other like dirt, you know? It's just, it really sickens me, you know? I mean, we're all human beings. We all have feelings, like I always say, and it's like, you know, that certain person's feelings doesn't matter to us. But to you, like, like you specifically, you matter. You want to matter. But if another person wants to matter, oh, no, no, fuck that, you know? It's like that type of attitude. And it's just, it's truly fucking sickening, man. I mean, I just don't know why we got to be this dumb and immature, you know? It's just, it's just, it's just so unnecessary and it just makes things so much worse. I mean, life's already a pain in the fucking, you know, fucking ass as it is. And then having this attitude on top of it, it just leads to more chaos than what already is awaiting us, you know, basically. I mean, it's just... It makes no fucking sense to me, man. It never made any sense to me. And, it, and the truth is, it doesn't make any sense. There was a friend that I knew that actually I don't speak to anymore because, you know, he became like a jerk. That, you know, he was just, he was an asshole. Like, he would just, you know, he was like mad at the world, I guess. So he would wish bad on everyone else. He wished this certain person, I forgot who, like one, uh, one of his friends or whatever, hope he gets stomach cancer or whatever the hell. And what ended up happening to, the, to him that wished that he ended up having a goal for a bypass in his heart, you know. I think it was like a, a what do you call it, a double bypass, if I'm not mistaken. And ever since then, he just hasn't been the same. He, he can't really walk. I mean, he walks, but he's, he's just like, he's like, I would say he's like in his 30s or whatever. But the way he looks, he literally, he acts like he's in his maybe mid-50s or 50s years old, you know. So, like, that's why I say you got to literally be careful what you wish for because something bad could happen to you. And, you know, when something happens to you, you don't want that to happen. So why would you want it to happen to other people? So I just literally, I do, and to some extent, I do believe in karma, I guess. You know what I mean? What you wish for could possibly backfire to you, you know? And the thing is, even if, let's say, karma's not real or whatever, I still wouldn't be the type to wish that because it's just not right, you know? You know, I don't know why we, we, we wish bad on each other, why we treat each other like shit, why we have no respect for each other, why we try to take advantage of each other. I mean, it's just, we're just a bunch of predators toward, towards each other. You know, alien versus predators, well, human versus human predators or whatever, you know, like vice versa. But, 
Ah, it's just, it's, it's fucking, you know, it's ridiculous, man. And the crazy thing is, too, sometimes assholes, nothing bad ever happens to them, but good-hearted people like me, for example, or whoever, like, you know, like me, or other people that are like me, or whatever, that are good-hearted, try to be nice, or whatever, we end up getting shitted on by something. So then it makes me wonder what karma, too, if, you know, because sometimes karma doesn't make any fucking sense, but it's like, it's just weird, you know? It's like, you know, the the... The good people die young, and the evil people just keep living. You know, it's like, everything's just the other way around. It's like, just like what I said, like how us people just want out in the worst way, we keep on living. People that look so forward to this life and want to keep living, they sadly, unfortunately, die. Whether they get murdered, whether they get into some kind of accident, or whether they just go to sleep and that's it. Now, for us, we'll be like, they're lucky, but for them, I guess they're not lucky because they wanted to live this shit, you know? So it's like, it just makes no sense. It favors the total opposite of what we want, it, want to happen, you know? I mean, all I really just ask for in, in this life is just to have respect for towards each other, treat each other respectfully, you know? But it's just, everything gets in the way of that. Greed is the main thing. Money, who's better than who, who's making more figures, who's who's got nicer things this is what it's all about and then we criticize other people because they don't have a certain thing that you have you know and then you got to say to yourself but what if you were in that person's shoes you know count your friggin blessings that you're not but why you gotta friggin start roasting other people making fun of other people this is a thing where we just have no respect towards each other in any fucking way man i mean it's just it's immature it's just re it's retarded man you know, all we fucking do here is just want to be better than one another, be stronger than one another, be in control of one of an, one another. You know, we want to feel like the ruler. We want to feel powerful. Meanwhile, you got to say to yourself, how powerful are you? You have the elites literally controlling your ass. You're literally just fucking working for them, bleeding to your knees. Ow, I need a Band-Aid. Hey, you need more than just a Band-Aid. But, you know, and you want to act all powerful. You're, you're acting all powerful to your own people. Instead of the higher ups that you really should be trying to act powerful to, you know, said you just you're a little simp giving into them, make making them money, making them rich, while you just make barely enough, and all you're paying is bills and all that bullshit, you know. So it's like I say to myself, it just all this shit's so fucking stupid, man. Yeah, life sucks as it is, and, and yet we don't even treat each other respectfully. We try to shit on one another. We try to take advantage, you know. Whatever we can think in our mind that we could possibly try to do to someone in a bad way, we'll do. We wish bad things happen to people. We don't wish success on other people. Because the truth is, we get jealous. You know? I mean, I'm at some... At, I believe everyone has some kind of jealousy at some, at some extent, you know? See, me, I'm not really jealous. But the only way I admit I would get jealous is if someone's bragging or whatever the hell, like, about a certain thing. Then I get jealous and pissed off at that person and you just want to beat the crap out of him or her because they're literally just showing off whatever the hell, you know. Meanwhile, like in the long run, what are you going to be showing off? You're going to be showing off your rich corpse, you know. Check out my rich, rich, rich corpse. Look at all the jewelry I got on my corpse or whatever. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's just it sickens me how immature people are, man. It's just it's only going to get worse. It has gotten worse and it just continues to get worse. I mean, I just, the amount of torment we do to each other, it's just, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's fucking mind blowing, you know, we're all in this bullshit and we can't even treat each other respectfully while we're trapped here. We live in a prison planet as it is. And yet we got to literally be like inmates towards each other. You know how like you go to, pr when you actually go to prison and people get teased, not, not even teased. That's, that's the least thing. They get beat up, possibly raped, you know, shit like that. It's like going to school is like almost the same thing. You get bullied, you get teased, you get harassed. You get, what did I say beat up? Uh, uh, but yeah, possibly rape, but that's pretty rare to happen probably. But you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's just a whole prison planet. You literally, wherever you go in this world, you could get fucked with. You're always going to get that one person that's going to fuck with you. Or one predator that might try to kill you or, or drug you or, you know, whatever. 
So it's like it's like a true prison planet, man. We truly just we don't respect one another. We don't treat each other with respect. We just how can I put it to this? We just we belittle each other. We we torment one another, you know. We're our worst enemies. Our own kind is our own worst enemies. And you wonder why people commit suicide and you wonder why people are depressed and shit like that. Plus life itself is just depressing, you know. I mean, it's just, it's pure hell here, man. We have no sympathy for one another. You know, we all want to be treated respectfully, right? We all want to be, we all want to be treated with respect. But yet we slack to treat others with respect. How we want to be treated, we're not doing the same to how that person may want to be treated. We're doing the total opposite. But when it comes to us, oh, you better treat me with respect. Like, fuck you, you know? We all should be treated with respect. We should all respect one another. But unfortunately, that won't ever, ever be the case because we're stupid, immature, childish. We're always literally, you know how they say you're a, you're a baby twice because when you're born, you wear diapers and possibly when when you get old you might have to wear diapers if you can't walk or whatever you know when you get old because you got to be taken care of you know you're elderly well that part's true but i feel like that's also saying because we never fully ever grow up we're always childlike we're always stupid we never mature we're mature from the moment of birth to the moment of fucking death me i just always i ask i just like to be nice you know i mean but i don't like to be nice to the point where people shit on me i don't like that you know no one deserves to have that happen to them but i do like to be nice you know i don't like the like for example when i'm on the road i don't like the road rage i'm not the type that likes to do that you know especially in today's fucking world today to pull out a gun and kill you maybe he's doing me a favor but <laughs> but i mean yeah, I mean, it's just crazy, man. Over stupid things because of the stop sign, the light or whatever, or you cut me off, wherever, go, go. That's what I'm like, you know, I'm just be like, go. It's like some people just want trouble. I don't know. It's like some people just get joy out of starting drama. Some people's lives are so boring that that's what fuels them up for the day. That's what makes their day. It's, it's crazy. So let's say I, I can have the most boring life. I still wouldn't look interested in doing something like that. I just I just don't see that, man. I want to have as, as less stress, the, the less stress as I can in my life. And that's really hard with the way just the system fucking is. And then on top of that, having to deal with fucking morons on, you know, at, on that as well. I mean, it's just, it's a fucking pure prison hell planet, man. And it's all been because of us. The way we treat each other, it's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. We care more for fucking something, like, for example, money. We care more about money than an actual living fucking thing. This doctor could save his or her life, but chooses not to because he or she doesn't have the funds, doesn't have the wealth care. <laughs> Who calls it health care anymore? It's fucking wealth care. Get real, man. They ain't even give no shit about your health. You know, it's all about wealth. If you have the funds, all right, man, let's see what we can do. Good news, sir, or good news, ma'am. We could save you. Yay! I got some good news and some bad news. The good news is we have something that could save your life. The bad news is you don't have the funds. Is there other good news? Nope, there's more bad news. Now you're going to die. Sorry, we care more about this money more than your life. <laughs> Fucking crazy, man. But yeah, man, that's humanity for you. Careless creatures, careless morons, cruel assholes, you know. All I ask for, you know, for each and every one of us is to treat each other respectfully. You don't know what someone's going through in life, and then yet you get an asshole that'll make that person feel 10 times worse than he already is. You know, it's like, what joy do you get out of, I mean, I just don't see it, you know, it's just fucked up, fucked up shit. We're all grown through stress in some kind of way. Some have it worse than others. Some don't have it as bad. But at some extent, we all have some kind of stress going on in our lives. And people just add more to it. We add, we literally add more hell to ourselves, you know. It's fucked up. It really is, guys, you know. If I had like a magic wand, I kid you not, everyone that has problems such as a disease or anything, I would wish it all goes away. Sadly, I don't have that ability, because if I did, I swear I would put it to good use, you know, 
But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a day there. And uh, a lot of people say I'd be looking like Peter Griffin, so I just want to do the Peter Griffin laugh. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Peace out and shut up, Meg.